We're gathered here today to protest to Puma. Puma are the official sponsors of the Israeli Football Association, which in itself is absolutely fine, but also at the same time they invest in football stadiums and teams in occupied Palestine. Puma fund a football association which works on occupied Palestinian land. They don't give the same opportunities um, for young Palestinian children to be part of their teams. They create stadiums on occupied land and so for us it's a company that contribute towards occupation and oppression of Palestinians and they're one of many many thousands of brands who do exactly the same thing. So we're doing this outside Puma, next week we'll be somewhere else, we will make this a moving campaign because the whole point is to make people aware of what these companies do, where their profits go and how we can be more responsible as, as consumers. Puma, Puma, you can't hide. We charge you with genocide. Puma, Puma, you can't hide. We charge you with genocide. The Israeli economy in the last four weeks has been affected by 13 billion dollars because of what we're doing. I'm not talking about us, I'm talking about the world right now. We're all waking up and going, right, I don't want to buy a pair of trainers and kill a baby in the same process. We've laid down some teddy bears to represent all the children that have been lost and killed. For six weeks now, we have watched Israel conduct war crime after war crime against the Palestinian people. Under no circumstances is it justifiable to collectively starve thousands. Under no circumstances is it justifiable to drop white phosphorus on a refugee camp. What we are witnessing in front of our eyes is a genocide. What we are witnessing is the ethnic cleansing of the Palestinian people. We live in the country which claims to be the mother of democracies. It's a sad, sad situation when as a nation we cannot condemn bombing hospitals, bombing schools, bombing refugee camps, occupying land. I am part of Restless Beings. We're a small human rights organization and a registered UK charity. We work with the communities in the UK and across the world. So our focus is to work with marginalized communities, people who can't eat every day, people who have been displaced, people who are living in refugee camps and don't know what the future holds. We work with anyone and everyone, regardless of where they're from, what their culture is, what their religion is, what their sexuality is. For me, as a queer black person living in London, the very reason the Palestinian call is being answered by so many is that it rings loud on universal truths. The fabric of our modern democracy is founded on colonial mindsets and apparatus. Free Palestine unveils the state of injustice in our society and that this injustice threatens all minorities across every walk of life. This isn't just an Israel-Palestine issue. Israel has funded various genocides in the world, from contributing towards the weapons that were bought to kill Rohingya and displace them from Burma, to contributing to and financing the military and training the military when it came to Rwanda, when it came to Bosnia. Israel has funded various forms of violence. It has trained the police in the US. My Rwandan heritage compels me to Palestine. Time. To see the same fabricated race war, the power hungry and cold blooded discourse, the same Western obliviousness and exceptionalism that is the reason I never was able to meet or be loved by my grandmother or grandfather. And I am not alone. So many of us answer to the call of the Palestinians because we too have survived genocide, apartheid, displacement, institutional violence, and generational trauma. Its architects are European colonialists that wrote the playbook on how to divide people, to overpower people, and to punish people for being in the way of their imperial and capitalist desires. Free Palestine represents we will stand for no less than our human right to full citizenship our born right to safety and to dignified living. It represents a child's right to grow, to live, to love, to learn. It represents a parent's right to see their children grow up. I'd be a fool to say, try and boycott everything. That's impossible, I can't remember all of them. Start with three, just start with three, your major ones, Coca-Cola, you know, Booking.com, AXA. Pick three, pick the ones that you shop from the most, from the list, and then try and make those changes. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine!